everyone, I'm Miss Terry Sang, a lecturer in the School of ICT, and this is Lecturer Ask Me Anything. Okay, first question. Hi Miss Chess, it's Jeff. How are you doing? I'm doing well, but you got my name wrong, Jeff. Wrong. Thank you. Can I T07 boys come back visit you? Yes, you are always welcome to visit us. We'll be happy to have you back. Why NPICT so cool? Because you guys make ICT cool. So I teach year one modules like programming and math. No, I'm only 167, so it's a bit sad. I wanted to be taller. Should I choose Common ICT program if I don't know what I want? Yes, you should choose the Common ICT program because this will give you an extra semester to actually decide which diploma you want to stream into later on. So in year one, you actually get some foundational modules like networking, databases, programming, even computing math. And then after that, you get to choose which specialization you want to go into. What is your favorite programming language? I don't have a favorite programming language because they're all actually similar. If you know one language, you can actually map onto another language. And switch programming language will we learn if we join the course? So in year one, you will learn Python in year 1.1. And then after that, you will learn C Sharp in 1.2. You can actually take up courses like mobile app development. And depending whether it's uh, iOS or Android development, you will learn the respective languages. Okay, how to C Sharp? You mean that as a joke? Then uh, you have to wear glasses to C Sharp. Next question. So the closest course that we have is the IM Diploma. We teach students how to develop games using game engines like Unity. Other than that, we also teach students mixed reality, augmented reality and virtual reality. Do you think business statistics is sufficient for quantitative analysis? Yes, we actually have additional maths modules. So if you think it's not sufficient, you want to learn more, you're always welcome to join our Diploma Plus program for Computing mathematics, so you'll learn things like calculus, advanced statistics. Okay, so there's many uh, job opportunities in the IT sector. If you're a software engineer, secure software developer, you can be a data analyst. Yeah, so there's so many opportunities. You can send the common test answers, please. Uh, I'm sure that you did very well, so you don't need the answers. So I think ICT is very interesting for, for myself and very in demand industry, so that's what attracted me. If you wish to find out more, do come on down to our open house on the 5th to the 7th January. See you there!